alright, 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 turn that down, turn that down, way down, way down, way down, way down, way down, alright, so here we go, I finally figured out how to get the uh, Ubuntu 22.10 to show me the desktop, so that I could record screencast of Ubuntu 22.10 with Wayland, now this is my problem with Wayland and OBS. It will not let me do more than one at a time. And it's driving me nuts. On OBS, I cannot, I can't add a, anything once I've got it going. Well, so here we go. Apparently, forgot what screen, what, what, uh, it, what scene that was. So here, let's try this one. By the way, we're listening to uh, Cyberpunk from uh, this is Night Night Nightwalker by Cyber on the Cyberpunk EP from uh, PandaBeats.com. Check them out. Great, awesome, royalty-free streaming music for streamers and anything. It's, they're freaking awesome. So anyways, this is Ubuntu 22.10. This is not the stock wallpaper. This is a wallpaper that I've got. This is a triple monitor wallpaper. So let's see if I can... Yeah, it looks like it's frozen because you should be seeing something up here on the screen. Okay, so now, see that's one thing that's annoying. It freezes when you go to another one. So, anyways, let's open some settings. So, this is what you're greet. Yeah, we create and do that with greeted with. You open settings. Here we, this is so you can see what I'm looking at. 16 gigs of RAM. I've got an AMD Ryzen 5 3600 12 core, 12 thread. I don't know if that's 12 cores. I'm not a computer guy. I don't know that shit. Uh, the AMD Radeon RX 560 graphics card, a terabyte hard drive. This reads the total number of. I, I'm guessing this is a GNOME thing. Or an Ubuntu thing, because Papa West did it too. It reads the total amount of disk drives you have installed inside the computer. I have two 500 gigabyte hard drives in there. NVMe, 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 SSDs. Uh, there. And so the total's uh, at a terabyte. But I've got two distros on here. Um, one on each and I don't understand why it's showing it shows a full terabyte total when it's Ubuntu should only be aware of itself anyways I digress um, the OS name is obviously Ubuntu 2210 it's a 64 bit GNOME 43 running Wayland which is good it's cool and it works great unless you're streaming in OBS and then it wants to be a little bitch but I digress it's very cool here you can see I've got three monitors set up uh, you can show your power sound is pipe wire surprising it works really good um, once you figure out how to use it um, it does not work anything like pulse audio and jack so if you're coming from that world of, of pro quote unquote pro audio for Linux, um, got to rethink yourself. Other than that, Pipewire works great. Once you can get wrap your head around it, what what I ended up having to do, if you remember back in the old Pulse Audio days, 
the old Pulse Audio days. This was just like six months ago. And you could create syncs and sources with, you know, just, you know, on the fly, type in P-A-C-T-L, you know, sync, name a sync, whatever, blah, 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 blah. And boom, you, you've got syncs and audios and you can go to Pulse Audio. Um, volume control, PAV use control, and just assign the the app to that, and then you open up your favorite Jack client, whether it's Carla or QJack control or whatever, and you could just you know link everything together. Well, now with Pipewire, you can't do that. It's a much more complicated way to create the syncs and sources and what you have to do is you have to edit your your pulse uh, your uh, pipe wire com config file which is located it's an etsy but you can you know you you bring it over to your home folder and stick it in your config folder and you have to make your pipe wire folder and then this is your pipewire.com you can, you know, you open it, and this is what you will see. It's a bunch of code, and you gotta edit a bunch of shit. So what I had to do was I, you have to add in some some drivers, like I just added the microphone, which is what I'm talking through, and then I had to add one for music, added one for Discord in and Discord out. And, and that's it. So now I can go and open up Helvetum, Helvum, whatever. And this will show you all my connections here. You got all of these here because this right here is from Easy Effects, which I'm running the microphone through. Um, just, I don't. You don't have to have that. I've got it on there just because. And this is working out really, really good so far. So I think I'm going to switch from Helvum to uh, something else because Helvum, you can't save this project anywhere. So that's, you know, it's all right. It, it, it'll work once you figure out how to use it and which is pretty much bullshit but you know it's it's progress and that's what's cool so anyways check out the appearance you can change from you know light to dark yeah kind of kills your eyes on the light but you can change your colors you know whatever color you want here there's the default ubuntu orange yay these are not the the uh, default wallpapers. These are the wallpapers that I added because they're triple wide. These are the default wallpapers here. They got some pretty cool wallpapers, but they're just single wallpapers, single monitor. Uh, I went through and I've added a bunch of apps already. So you know, if I go through and tell you the apps, you know you're gonna look at them and say well, what are all these apps you know i've got discord incidentally as far as i remember i do believe the firefox snap pack is the only one i've got but i'll look okay so i've got a few snaps so I've got uh, the Discord is Snap, Elements Snap, Ken Van Dyne, don't know what that is. Oh, Firefox, Gnome 338, whatever that is. Gnome 42, whatever that is. Uh, KD Frameworks, KeePass, XC is a Snap, that's right. Um, yeah, these are all just regular Snap stuff. But for my flat packs,
these are all the flat packs that I've got installed. I've got uh, Delta Chat, which is very cool. I'll talk about that in another video. G4 Music, Virtual Puppet, uh, Easy Effects, Newsflash, Extension Manager, NextCloud Desktop, Zap. Zap is a cool little app. This is for playing like sound effects and stuff. I haven't set it up yet. So. I don't know if that's coming through there or not. It's supposed to be, but I don't think it is. But anyways, uh, the Zam plugins. We've got some uh, font downloader. I think I installed the Caden Live. I think that's actually a snap. It might, might not be. But anyways. Yeah, those false audio volume control, I've got that. Carla. Um, it's it's a very cool... This is the, the release that uh, Ubuntu should have put out 2204. And there's there's no reason it, it could have been. But I will... I'm the first... I, I was absolutely surprised with Firefox being... A snap pack when I had 20 when I installed 2204 several months ago um, and opened the flat pack first for Firefox I immediately closed it and uninstalled it and installed the dev version because it took literally almost five minutes just for Firefox to start and this Firefox out of the box fired up super fast I mean, just like a regular Deb, Deb install. It was absolutely amazing. I, I was thoroughly impressed. Um, so far, the other snaps that I've installed seem to be doing just as well. I haven't had any problems with them. Um, so as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to keep this going on here on the work side, on the work computer. And I'm going to continue to try to use it for doing videos and stuff so yeah I'm actually impressed with it uh, I know it's only a nine month version until the next one comes out um, I don't think the next LTS comes out until 24 or something I think 2404 but uh, yeah I'm in I'm impressed Canonical. This is the way it should have should have been back in April. But uh, no, <laughs> you did you you couldn't do it <laughs> for some unknown reason. You couldn't do it. Don't make sense. I wonder if my webcam. Hey, look! It came undone. It unfroze. Awesome. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Uncle Bonehead gives his approval. So, yeah, there you go. There you have it. Ubuntu 2210. It is not 100% a winner, but it is 99% winner for me. I'm going to keep it. Can't believe I'm saying that. I'm going to keep it. It's Pipewire, Wayland, and I'm going to keep it. I don't know why. But anyways, there you have it. We'll see you guys again next time. Be good, be safe, never stick a finger where you would stick your face. And I'm Uncle Bonehead. I approve this message. Vote early, vote off. <laughs>